A rail strike could be in the near future once again. Now, second union has now rejected the tentative agreement between U.S. freight and railroad unions. Fox 17's Lauren Coomer joining us live now in studio with the details on what exactly this means for the entire nation. Lauren, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Rita Elliott. So far, six unions have voted in favor and two have voted against the deal. All of them could strike if one does, which would put 40 percent of goods that travel by train at risk and right before the holiday season. On Wednesday, the Brotherhood of Railroad Signal Men, which represents 6,000 workers, voted not to ratify the deal with 60 percent saying no. Earlier this month, the Brotherhood of Maintenance of Way employees also voted down a similar deal. It represents around 20 23,000 track maintenance workers. Some of the disagreements stemmed from quality of life issues and paid time off benefits. The overall worry for consumers, though, these impacts could disrupt the supply chain. It's going to cause a huge uptick in prices for, for rail, which is going to cost the, the manufacturer or, or the supplier a lot more money to get it there, which is going to cost affect our going to the grocery store. Well, if they don't reach a new agreement before November 19th, the union could authorize a strike. All 12 unions must approve the contracts to avoid a nationwide strike. Reporting live in studio, Lauren Coomer, Fox 13 News.